master of Latin American cuisine, Richard Sandoval has restaurants all around the world, including Toro Toro at Grosvenor House Hotel. And I'm here to attend a ceviche making masterclass with the man himself. Chef Richard, I'm so excited to be here. Can you tell us about the ceviche you're going to make for us? Um, it's a classic, uh, you know, Peruvian ceviche. You know, in, in Peru, they typically use a leche de tigre as a base for their ceviches. Then they'll incorporate different flavors. A leche? Leche de tigre. Yeah, tiger's milk. Tiger's milk. <laughs> Which has no correlation, but it's still called tiger's milk. <laughs> That's how Peruvians work. OK. So. Let's get cooking. First, Richard prepares the base of the dish. Sliced chilies, onion and coriander, and cubes of fresh sea bass and sweet potato, cooked in orange and lime juice, seasoned with sugar, star anise and cinnamon. So now we've cubed our fish, what's next? All right, so now we're going to move on to our leche de tigre. First, we're going to grab our celery here. We'll just do like a nice, you know, rough chop. We'll put them in our blender. Next, we'll put in our ginger. Nice. A little bit of garlic. Onion, white onion. It's like a really healthy smoothie. Exactly. We're going to put our fresh fish. You know, typically when you make this, you, don't, you know, you're going to use it more expensive fish for your ceviche. So here you just want a white fish, so it doesn't have to be necessarily, you know, sashimi grade. Richard adds fish stock, coriander, de-seeded habaneros, lime juice, salt and pepper to the blender. Now we're going to strain our leche de tigre. OK. So now we're going to make the avo sauce. Correct. We're going to use two avocados. Mm -hmm. you, know, you want to make sure you use Haas avocado, mm -hmm. which is very creamy. So we'll just slice these in half. I see Haas avocados from lots of different countries, from Mexico, America. Which country does the best? Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I know you were going to say that? Spoken like a true Mexican. I'm going to add a little bit of you know, a fresh coriander. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, lime juice. We're going to add, you know, our serrano. As you've seen here, we've removed the seeds from it, so it's not going to be, you know, so okay. spicy. A little bit of salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hand blender. Okay. Blend it all together. All right, so now we've come to our final step. Mm -hmm. As you know, we, we find out our leche de tigre, we chopped our, our, our ingredients, we diced our fish. Now we're going to combine them all to, you know, make our ceviche. So first what we'll do is we'll grab our fish. We'll add some of our chilies. Mm -hmm. We're going to add our, our onion. We're going to add some of our, you know, fresh cilantro. I'll add a little bit of our, our sweet potato. We'll add our cancha. Tell me about this ingredient. It's kind of Peruvian corn. Mm -hmm. It's dehydrated. It gives it, you know, really, you know, really nice texture. You know, we import it from Peru. I would say Mexico, but we don't have it in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add our leche de tigre, a little bit of salt. And so here we have our final dish. The sweet potato adds a lovely pop of orange. Now you get to see the labor okay. of work that we had here and see what you think. Going in. Mm. You can hear the crunch, see the textures, the flavors. And the fish is beautiful. Wow. Mm. Super soft. But you see what the sweet potato does? Mm -hmm. You get the acid, you get some heat, some sweetness. So it's all kind of balancing and contrasting each other. So balanced. Love it. Absolutely. Totally understand why Peru made this its national dish.